Hi, welcome to the Kiena recording of the film My Brother Chases Dinosaurs, playing as part of 11th European Union Human Rights Film Base. Today, we are happy to be talking to the director of the film, Stefano Cipani, who is joining us from Rome. Hi, Stefano. Hello, hi. Nice Thank to you so have much you for here. Having me. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Welcome. Um, so you're a film director and a writer based in Rome. Uh, you yeah. studied filmmaking at the New York Film Academy and you have produced a range of short films. My Brother Chases Dinosaurs is your first feature film. Uh, the film focuses on a family who raises a child with Down syndrome and the story is based on the book uh, on the, of the same name. So the first thing I wonder is, how did you learn about this book and why did you choose to adapt it uh, to a future film? Oh, I fell in love with the book. I uh, had the chance to read it. Uh, my agent gave it to me and I was very curious about it. And in one night I read it and it was a beautiful, very sweet, very important story. So I thought that would have been a great, great film. And I knew there were some producers interested in making the film. So thanks to my agent, I sent my, for my short film that I did and I was uh, chosen by them to direct it. So Fabio Bonifaci wrote the film, who is a very experienced uh, screenwriter. He wrote the film with Giacomo Mazzariol, the author of the book. And there you go. Uh, the project was on tracks. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, it's a really nice, heartwarming story, actually. So I assume uh, you made a lot of research about the condition of Down syndrome before making the film. Uh, I wonder if your opinion about the people with Down syndrome and people with disabilities in general uh, changed after finishing the film. No, not, not really, not really changed. I mean, uh, I just made uh, more friends, you know, like uh, the little Lorenzo sister was, I think, uh, one of the most uh, good actors in the film. And I think the message of the film, it's him, you know? So what, what I learned, what I learned and is that it's the expectation, it's always lower than at the end, the result. Uh, you know, you always be surprised. You always are surprised by their ideas, by their, you know, uh, instinct. I mean, at least for what concerns my experience with a Down syndrome kid. Uh, I mean, yes, I, I, I agree with you. I mean, uh, the, there is this superficial uh, categorization between the people yeah. with disabilities and without disabilities. Other and than that, I mean, we are not the, different than each other. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't mean anything, disabilities. I mean, it doesn't mean anything. It's uh, so different also. Uh, yes. Many kinds of disability. Uh, probably me and you, we are disabled too, also, like for some, I don't know, you know. I mean, it's not a, a, a word that uh, I use um, uh, much, you know. I just accept what it, what it is and uh, try to make good out of it, you know? Definitely. Um, I have another question uh, concerning the disability uh, issue. Uh, I also assume people might perceive the film uh, as a film about disability, but it's oh. actually a coming of age story. It's about growth. Of course, uh, the person of Gio uh, steps forward in the film, uh, in the story, but it's like you are trying to show us his needs are actually no different than the other people. Uh, can you share your opinions about this? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, first of all, I fell in love with the story because, not because it was a story about, you know, uh, disability, but because it was a story about a universal story about a teenager, you know, Giacomo Mazzariot, who felt something, who had experienced something, you know. Uh, so absolutely, I agree with you. It's a coming of age movie, and the theme is the disability, the the the, the rapport that you know sibling has with disability. You know, growing up with something like that, uh, you can't even explain to yourself what they are when when you are a kid. You know, something so so deep and so difficult to understand. So yeah, so that's that's also why I, I fell in love with the story. Um, I don't know if I answer your question, but definitely, uh, definitely that was an answer. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, so I also would like to talk about the casting in the film. Yeah. Uh, you managed to engage real stars in the film. Rosie De Palma, Pedro Almodovar's, Almodovar's muse, and Alessandro Gassman, the son of the renowned actor, uh, Vittorio Gassman. Can you tell us a bit about the casting process of the film? Yeah, the casting process was great. I mean, we had divided the casting into parts, the casting of the kids, and the casting of you know the big star. So we tried to get involved some stars that we liked, like Alessandro Gaspar. And thanks to the story, thanks to the script, thanks to the, the importance of the story, the book, what's behind the film, Alessandro Gasman, Rossi De Palma, Isabella Ragonese, they got attached to the project. They liked it. So they supported me, they supported Giacomo, and they came on board. You know, and it was surprising for us because they're such big and important actors, like you know, Rossi De Palma. Uh, at an international level, so, but she was very excited. She wanted to do it, you know? Uh, so we were very excited also to have her. Uh, well, in the other side, we had the casting of the whole kids and that was fun. You know, we had seven months of casting, crazy casting, looking for all these kids. They had to look like, uh, you know, because you have Jack at seven years old, Jack at 14 years old, you have to seven years old and so on with all the sisters, you know? It was so uh, incredible to see such a great young actors. And, you know, we found also like amazing actors, but uh, they didn't look alike, or maybe they have an accent which was not good for the film, but they were uh, incredible anyways. So it was very exciting to find all these young actors. And most of them, they didn't do anything before, a lot of them. And after this film, they started like a beautiful, beautiful career. So. I, it was it was very good uh, for also for them. Yeah, I think it's a great success. I mean, it, it, they're all natural and professional at the same time, so uh, it's a great success, I I believe. Yeah, and also we had uh, the help of uh, some association when we were looking for you know a Down syndrome kid. You know, we we looked for families who wanted to be involved in the process. So we. We, we met uh, a lot of kids also with Down syndrome and uh, all different and uh, all their own world uh, and uh, their specials in different ways, you know, like us. Mm -hmm. And Stefano, I was just wondering the reactions of the audience uh, uh, to the film. Uh, I assume that you, are, you screened the film in different festivals, different countries. And what was the reaction of the audience? Uh, I was just wondering. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, it was, it, I, I think it was good. I mean, uh, we, we, we showed the film to a lot of people, you know, a lot of young audience, like 10 to 14 years old. Then we screen in many schools, many high school, like 16, 17, 18 years old. A lot of uh, old people watch the film. I had some uh, screening with just old people in the, in the audience. And of course, you know, uh, everybody sees the film in a different in a different way. I think the good thing about the film is that we talk to these kids at the same level. You know, we don't talk to them like an adult talk to them. You know, we talk to them like they do. Um, and I'm talking about the approach of the film. I'm talking about you know the the energy. You know, so I think that reflects reflected also in on set and on the audience uh, perspective when they see the film, you know, they feel this energy, they feel like this is something that as an art, I think that comes when you see the film. Mm -hmm. um, Stefano, thank you for sharing this heartwarming story with us. And if there's anything you would like to add, uh, please feel free to comment. Oh, um, you know, what's uh, the, the beautiful thing about uh, Lorenzo Sisto was that he didn't uh, really know that he had a Down syndrome while making the film. He didn't know what a Down syndrome was. You know, he was 10 years old, nine, and he didn't know what was it. And he learned, he understood what uh, Down syndrome was while he was on set, while he was working on the film, while we were te telling Giacomo's uh, story. And uh, his reaction was, of course, uh, incredible because he said, like, he just thought a little bit about it. And then he turned to us and says, oh, OK, nobody's perfect. So very cool. Mm -hmm.
I think there, uh, I think the children and the young people, they uh, see disability as a difference, you know, not like a disability. And this is like a superficial uh, categorization anyway. And adults do this categorization, I believe. Uh, so in your film, you perfectly uh, actually mention about this issue as well. You also raise these questions, you know, uh, in your film even though it's a coming of age story. So uh, thank you for sharing the story with us and thank you. joining the session. Thank you. Thank you so much.